Hey, how you doing? So I've had a few questions uh, about the different pin backings, and I figured it'd be easiest to show you rather than try to explain. Um, there are probably more, but I'm familiar with the main three types of pin backings. The least secure but most common, uh, a lot of companies make this the default, is the rubber pin backings. They look like this. They can come in a variety of colors, but there is no security here. You put them on um, and they work fine for like low traffic stuff. If you're putting them on display, they're fine. Um, if they're somewhere safe on a uh, worn item, that's fine. I didn't get pins for a long time because even the butterfly clips we'll get into later aren't super secure. Um, but uh, these ones just uh, slide right off. So if you have them on a bag or jacket and they get caught, it's possible that they're just going to pull right off. You might not know. You might lose your pin. Um, the butterfly backers are also common. Um, sometimes companies make a choice uh, when you buy in bulk, uh, which is really the only way to get pins as a supplier, um, to get a, a full set made. When you buy in bulk, you might be able to get these, uh, these instead of the rubber backings. I would suggest that if you can. They're a little bit more secure. Um, most people are probably somewhat familiar with these. Um, and you know, you, you like I'm not using the thing, um, and you're starting to slide a little bit. Uh, you know, they're not as secure, but they're more secure. Um, but they do start to slide, and I have had pins that get caught with these that were pulled off my bag. Uh, then you have the locking barrel pin backers. I think there's a couple other options that are also locking pin backs, but these are the only ones I have any experience with. And the way those go in, yeah put them on and like this little thing it's two parts you'll see right in there you have this top little nub and this bottom barrel and so these come on and they are very very secure once you get them secured in there um, and then to get them off you it's a little bit more finicky but you kind of pull down on this guy and then slide them off um, these are the most secure I've had um, the acrylic pins uh, or the uh, the enamel pins um, as long as these are secure with the locking backs I've had them on my bag uh, for quite a while I haven't lost any that have the um, the locking barrel backs uh, I did lose a couple of the acrylic ones um, that I have in small supply when they had the butterfly backers they came with, so I swapped those out. Um, you will see here, um, the acrylic backers, because they're not a single piece, they are a, a acrylic pin glued onto a, um, onto a post, right? A backing and a post. So you'll see here, uh, this is a locking barrel back where it, it caught and it didn't pull the pin, but it did pull the acrylic off the the post. Uh, I'm very rough with my bag. That's not going to be super common unless you are also very rough with your pins uh, for the acrylic ones. Uh, but that kind of shows the amount of security you get with these. Um, the enamel pins obviously are all one piece, so you shouldn't run into that with the enamel at all. Okay, I'm back real quick because I, when I rewatched the video last time, I saw that they weren't uh, super clear on getting the the locking barrel backs off. So as we see, it's two pieces. It's uh, actually this little thing in here. So what you do is you, and it's gonna be hard to get, you push down on the bottom, the big bottom piece, and then you pull up on the top piece. See, can you see that here, how it's kind of elevated there? And that allows it to slide off. It's these two mechanisms in there that uh, cause the lock to happen. Um, so that's how that works. Sorry, it wasn't super clear. Like my fingers are all in the way last time. It's kind of hard to get the shot of that. Uh, so that is all of the kind of various pinbacks. Thank you, and I will post this momentarily.